Today Hazel and I are going to talk to you about adding the verbal cue. Last week we did a video on fading food lures and using a hand signal. The next step is to add a verbal cue. The reason that you wait is because dogs don't understand English, so if we start adding words in too soon, we're likely to make the assumption that the dog understands something that they just don't yet. Dogs are more likely to follow a hand signal, particularly if we start out using food in the hand, than they are a word. So Hazel is really, really good at jumping the prompt, meaning I don't need to use the hand signal for sitting down. However, I do still use it when we do stand because we don't practice a lot of the time. So that's, be that's the behavior that I'm going to show you. Down. Stand. And she started to jump it a little bit there. Down. Stand. Good girl. Down. Thank you. Stand. Good job, Curly. Good job. So you can see I gave my verbal cue, waited a beat, and then I gave my hand signal. Down. Stand. Good job, Curly. And that's it. You just really want to make sure that the dog has had enough repetitions um, with just the hand signal and that you're not repeating yourself. Chanting is a no-no. You just confuse the dog and frustrate yourself. So that's all for today. Good job.